everybody, this is Bill McFadden from TonePure.com and this is a video about the Big Bang Orchestra Jupiter. So what we've been listening to is a brass piece using the trumpet, the Big Bang Orchestra trumpet. and the Big Bang horns Jupiter. The trumpet is Copernicus, and this video will be focusing on the horn Jupiter. So if you'll notice, we're using, we have long notes, we have short notes, legatos, dynamics, flutters, and trills, fast repetitions, and rips. Let's go ahead and listen to the long notes isolated here. Also, we have sustain here as would be soft. Expressivo. In the short notes, we have bold and agile. go through some of the other articulations. Then in dynamics, we have sforzato, sforzatissimo, uh, we have swell shorts, lungs, and soft. Let's listen, let's listen to those. <laughs> our flutters and trills. fast repetitions. And 
Now, currently we're listening to the mic positions where we have the room mix mid and close, which is the classical room mix. One of my favorite mixes, if we go to the parameters here for the mixer presets, is the surround the surround sound, and in particular, the wide surround, the stereo. And let's go back to a long note. So in the interface, in the perform controls, we have CC711 and also we have velocity cross fade, CC1, which you can adjust in the interface itself, as well as legato, blur, dynamic range, attack, release, a filter, which you can control over here. Here's your max and your min. And then we have stretch factor, which is used for syncing, tempo syncing. And then we have our humanization, delay and tuning, as well as uh, marcato control for this preset and uh, reverb. Now, if we look at the edit menu, you'll notice As we're playing this note, we do see the humanization being taken into effect, which gives it a more natural sound. And you have different presets you can use in the humanization, quite a few. Also, in the mix menu, we have plate reverb and power pan that are added on to the mix, as well as control over the individual mic positions. We can adjust to taste. can even add in mic positions that haven't been activated yet. And one of the other things in the presets, we have this category of processed, which will give you more presence. For example, if we choose the compressed, we get this sound. Sparkling. Wall of horns. stretching or actually uh, threatening sustain threatening echoes distorted delays So 
trem in the middle. And that's achieved by in the auto gain by shaping it with a sine wave, which gives a pulsating sound. As with a triangular wave, here's a sine wave again. So that pretty well gives us a pretty good idea of what is involved in the presets and the controls that we have. Just a quick overview. So this is Bill McFadden from TomePure.com signing off.